participation of everyone, the level, excitement, support, and you don't have any person um, taking the authority on the group. So it's a, a group that is self-organized. And, and you see, people around the group are active people support, support them in this, uh, in this work. So in order to uh, successfully uh, manage an exercise of co-creation with the people, you need to think of this policy. You need to think of all the ingredients you need to make it a success. And this is why organizations today will have to learn how to make effective crowdsourcing. You need to learn how to do crowdsourcing, how to co-create with your audience, using gamification techniques. I will come back to it. Another important element you need to think about is you can develop as many channels as you want if they, if they are responsible to a specific purpose. But you need to look for consistency offline and online. You need to have one unique experience, <coughs> one unique brand for uh, your audience. It's very important that all your channels have a very well complementary approach. And visually, that people can recognize that it's one wrong behind. And organizations will have to develop a good omni-channel strategy versus multi-channel strategy. So you need to be everywhere where your audience is. You don't like Twitter? Fine. But go there if your audience is there. <coughs> Use it thinking really about for, for which purpose. <coughs> but you need to be wherever your audience is. Instagram, Tumblr, other digital technologies. As communicators, you need to know when digital is the best option. And you need to know which digital channel you will. I'm not saying that innovative communication is not about digital, not at all. For instance, and you, 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 are, you are part of the, the finalist, the face-to-face um, -face is coming back very much because we know that it's the most efficient way to pass a message. But digital can broaden the discussion, ensure transparency, attract people into the conversation that you have in a physical place. It's very important to know when digital is the best. And when is that? Local stories. And this is why you stay for this that's such an important role to play. Because you are locally with the people, talking about CAP, leading CAP every day. And so it's very important that all messages that come from the European Union, that come from the, the national ministries, etc., they are translated into local stories. People want stories. They want things that are meaningful to them. Um, and so strategy partners, stakeholders, uh, will be instrumental in making your messages more local. The good news is that nowadays we have digital technology that allow us to have messages translated. So translation is not as important as it was before. You can use platforms that make the translation for you. But local stories, meaning that you invent stories with the sort of corporate communication. In 2015, it's all about communicators need to be more to be successful. You have a lot of challenge, and you are expected to know the trends. So, so first thing is, we know that uh, there was a time where we were experimenting with digital. This time is over. Now we need to know what digital can bring, and we need to develop a much more strategic approach to digital, but in a non-channel strategy, multimedia strategy. You need, for instance, to adopt news jacking, important marketing, it works a lot. News jacking is when you use, for instance, uh, an event, um, uh, for instance, uh, San Nicola, uh, to make a story around it and put, and put your brand into that story. And people love that in the digital world. Huh? So to 
day San Nicolas Day, did you know that San Nicolas was harvesting in the refugees? You invent a story and people like to, uh, to, to, to forward this story. So make them uh, participate like this. Um, and, and we come back to the fact that face to face is the most strategic channel for communication, the most efficient. So when I say developing a more strategic approach to digital, it's mainly, it's probably reintroducing face to face into your strategy. Content is king, context is king, Kong, and distribution is Godzilla. What does that mean? It means that context is hugely important. You need to give good content to, a content to attract your audience. You need to develop a content that has high value. But context is even more important. And here I show you uh, what is native advertising. Native advertising is that you will have a promoted tweet, for instance, coming on the wall of your stakeholders. So this is one uh, example of uh, how you can uh, you can be more into this uh, this context. And so from mass to communication, uh, so just a, a bit bored on the street, you, we are going to human to human communication, where we exchange at a personal level using emotions with the people. So it's um, some people say human to machine to human. But I think now we are quite used to using machines, so I think it's really human to human. You don't communicate with a machine, you communicate with people. Visual marketing domination, here it's an infographic, so when you want to, uh, um, for instance, uh, communicate about the cap, one very efficient way, people love that, is to do an infographic. This is an infographic. So you use figures and you highlight uh, key messages from your communication instead of having a 20 pages note. First, with visual, they receive 24% more page visits than without. So imagine the impact of having visuals on your site. And videos are 90% of the content shared online. 90%. So think about making a video, now it's, it's cheap, you can make a video for uh, a very low cost because you can uh, take the picture and you can do the mix uh, with all the free uh, software that you can learn. Dynamic and mobile first. Dynamic and mobile first. You know that one billion of people will connect to internet only via mobile by 2050. One billion people connecting to it only via mobile. So, I have a question. Is it ne still necessary today to develop desktop applications for your websites when you know that more and more people will go to the internet through mobile? So instead of spending a lot of money in making your site more responsive, I would say start with the mobile <laughs> app. Um, and um, and mobile is stealing minutes from everything else we do. I know. So if you use your mobile now, you will do less of other things. Connecting to this application. That's the future. And of course, dynamic means that the content is no, li no longer linear, it's dynamic. Uh, so you need to use the, the, the benefits of digital and social media to make your content more dynamic, which means that your audience can participate anytime to improve the quality of your content. So think about that when you create content online. Think about how can you make sure that your audience will feel the, 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 the need that you have to uh, involve them in your content. How can you make sure that, for instance, you, you use tags so that they can contribute to it? Um, communication and uh, Communication and learning are closer than ever. We were talking about video games. 
I know from experience that it can be a very expensive communication tool. So think about ways to make a competition with uh, people to co-create the video game with them. Think about uh, a call for interest in, uh, online or something like that. They are part of the game techniques that come from the learning world. Uh, we have a, a, an example today with us with the CAP communication award. It's clearly a, a gamification technique. Uh, and, and today um, it's, it's very important to make anything you do fun like the contracts you do. So, uh, but there's another uh, thing that you can uh, steal from the learning world. It's the, the massive online courses, the massive open online courses probably have heard of, uh, about this. Now most universities are organizing online courses for free. And they do that on every topic. I suppose there is one on CAP. Do you know? <laughs> you know if there is already a massive online course on CAP? Yeah. But yeah, you had it for instance on Europe, in France, it was really successful. It's a great way to uh, to uh, to make your uh, uh, your project uh, better learned. <laughs> yeah, there is good in every country. So maybe it's something to emphasize. Maybe some others could use. Maybe some others would be interested to have a look at it. So. Massive online course. Uh, it's, uh, for instance, there was one about Europe uh, six months ago. There was more than uh, 100,000 people attending this online course until the end. Um, I think it's a very successful way to uh, to to uh, make your project better known. Of course, a lot of people now learn on YouTube. So you uh, you had this question about can we learn through social media? A lot of people they learn. Through YouTube. Uh, they have a question, they type their question on YouTube, and, and they see they have the, the tutorial online. So think about how you can be more present on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on any enterprise social media. This is where people learn to do this. Um, it's almost over. <laughs> um, so the idea is to get to a segment of one. It's no longer mass communication, but it's human to human, very personalized communication. So as communicators, you become community manager. You, you, you need to learn how to manage your communities, your top fans, but also your secondary community. And this is how you will convert them. And you need to understand the new behaviors in order to offer services that will re really respond to you. And you won't find them through analytics. You won't find the answers through analytics. You really need to engage with your audience to understand their new creators. We are in a, in a world that is changing a lot. And you need a very important as community manager to give up a very authentic voice because this is what people want, authenticity from you. Uh, so you are not an official talking about CAP, but you are a person talking, talking about a passionate topic. Um, current and curators, uh, this is a trend we are observing today um, more and more. Uh, in a world saturated with information, curation sites have to be really, really useful. So for instance, instead of having a site where you only publish content from your organization, you would develop a site where you gather news coming from different sources for the benefit of your audience. So if you know well who you are talking to, you create a curation site so that they learn from you, but also from other sources on the topic, and it proves to be very successful. Um, so you really need to, uh, to become content curators as communicators. So find